In type 2 diabetes, the pancreas can make insulin at first. When the pancreas senses the glucose level in the blood is up, it releases more insulin into the blood. Insulin and glucose travel throughout the body in the blood. Tiny blood vessels take insulin and glucose very close to each cell in the body. But when the insulin arrives at the cell door, it can't unlock it. The lock doesn't work the way it should. The glucose can't enter the cell. The cell doors are locked and the keys can't unlock them. So the glucose level in the blood starts to rise higher than it should. The pancreas senses the higher blood glucose level and releases even more insulin into the blood to try to unlock the cell doors. For a while, the body releases more insulin. The extra insulin can help glucose get into the cells. But eventually, the pancreas gets worn out from working so hard. The pancreas may not be able to make enough insulin anymore. Treatment of type 2 diabetes includes exercise, proper diet, and sometimes medications. All of these can help insulin do a better job of getting glucose into the cells. Sometimes, to control type 2 diabetes, people need to take insulin injections too. So keep these things in mind. Diabetes affects the way the body uses glucose. In type 2 diabetes, insulin from the pancreas can't unlock the body's cells. The locks don't work. Glucose gets locked out and builds up in the blood. If glucose can't get into the cells, the cells don't get the energy they need.